Hello, I'm DJ Story. Today I'm going to show you how to route Reason into Ableton Live. So the first step is to have Live open. So you get Live open first and then you open Reason. And that's really important. Once that happens, you can start Live and it'll start Reason. You could stop Reason and it'll stop Live. They're totally synced. So that's the first step. Next, you want to add an audio track. Well, there's two different ways to route audio from uh, Reason into Live. And this is the first, first way. It's pretty easy. You, um, let's see, if you don't have the in and out menus there, you're going to want to enable this. Now you're going to come over here and select Reason from the drop down. You're going to set audio to in. And now anything that comes out one and two in reason is going to come through this channel. So I'll show you what I mean. I just created a mixer. And now I'm going to create a Dr. Rex pattern. We're going to choose a drum and bass loop. And now if I preview this, See it's coming through. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and send it to the track. Now this is good if you already have a whole composition in, in Reason, and you just want to send it into live through one track and add some vocals to it or something. Um, it's an easy way to get that done. Now there's another way you can do it, which is um, if you want to sequence in live but use sounds from Reason, you can drag this external instrument onto a MIDI track or just double click and it'll go there. Um, and then you go down here and you're gonna, um, well actually first, let's add a sound. So we're gonna add a, a Thor synthesizer and we're gonna select a sound here. I'm just gonna find, um, this will do. And then instead of routing it into the mixer, because then it'll just go out one and two, we're going to bring this right up to three and four. So in reason, you just press tab to switch between these two views. And um, we're going to go back to Ableton. And down here on the external instrument, we're going to select reason from the MIDI two. And then we're going to select the Thor. You'd select whichever instrument you want to control, obviously. And then audio from, we're going to select three and four. And now I have my keyboard enabled up here. So I can actually control this with my laptop keyboard. So um, you can see it works when I press a key on the keyboard. It yeah, I'm just too lazy to plug in my MIDI controller right now, but um, <clears throat> but yeah, now I could record a loop. There we go. So yeah, you get the idea there. You can uh, then come in and edit the sounds here, and do all kinds of stuff. Now, one other thing I want to show is um, with this audio coming through, you can actually record enable the track and just record it right in. Anyway, that, that concludes this tutorial. Hope you learned something. And be sure to check out my website, intuitivebeats.com. Thanks. Have a wonderful day.